Now displacement time graph is the graph of oscillations. Eh? Okay. So in this topic, or in, in these chapters, we are two very similar graphs, the displacement time graph and the displacement distance graph. So displacement time graph is the graph of oscillation and displacement distance graph is the graph of wave. We will discuss displacement distance graph later. And it's very important for you to know that displacement time graph is the graph of oscillations. Eh? For example, okay, so let's say we have an oscillating object, okay, so the objects oscillate up, down, up, down. So if we plot uh, the displacement of the object against time, then the graph looks something like this. So we call this shape the sinusoidal, sinusoidal shape. So this is a sinusoidal graph. So usually this is how the, uh, the displacement time graph look like. So this is a displacement time graph. Now, the displacement time graph can be used to determine a few things. It can be used to find the amplitude of the oscillating object, uh, the period of the oscillating object, and the frequency of the oscillating object. Okay. So these are the informations that we can get from a displacement time graph. Okay, now let's see this example, finding amplitude eh, from displacement time graph. You need to know that um, for a displacement time graph, the x-axis, eh, the x-axis is the equilibrium positions because x-axis is the center of the oscillating system. Eh? So this is the equilibrium positions. And just now we learned that amplitude is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium positions, right? So therefore, this is the maximum, okay? So the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position, so this is the amplitude. Eh? So this is the amplitude. Or, or you can use this point or the minimum point, okay? Uh, this is also considered the maximum displacement eh, from the equilibrium position. So this is also the amplitude. That is how we find amplitude from displacement time graph. Eh? We, either we use the maximum point or the minimum point eh, from the equilibrium position, and that is the amplitude. And it's important for you to know that the amplitude has no negative value. For example, eh? okay, so let's say uh, this is 5 cm and... Uh, this is negative 5 cm. So if you take this point, okay, if, if you take this point eh, for you to find the amplitude, okay, then your amplitude should be 5, not negative 5, eh, okay? Don't give amplitude uh, in negative value, okay? Even though, even though at this point the displacement is negative 5, but the amplitude is 5. This point, the displacement is 5, amplitude is 5. This point, the amplitude, uh, the displacement is negative 5, but the amplitude is still 5. Eh? So don't give negative values to the amplitude. Next, finding period from a displacement time graph. So what is period? We have learned period just now, right? So what is period? Period is the time taken for one complete oscillations, right? So to find period, you must identify a complete oscillations, okay? Yeah. For example, let's say an object starts oscillating from A. Must remember, period is the time taken for one complete oscillations. So let's say when the object starts oscillating from A, okay? So the complete oscillation is from A, it moved to B, back to its original position. Now, this is not yet a complete oscillation right? because... Uh, the directions of the movement is not the same. Initially, it moved up. Now, it moved down. So, uh, after that, it go down to D and then go to E. Okay, so this is complete oscillations. So, from A, B, okay, uh, I, I, uh, this one should be C. Okay, we suppose have a C here, which is not labeled. So, from A to B and then C and then D to E. Okay, this is one complete oscillations. Now, the horizontal x axis uh, represent the time. So, from the time taken from A to E, time taken from A to E is the period. So, from here to here is the period. Now, if you don't want to start from here, you want to start from the maximum point. Okay. Uh, then the complete oscillation will be from B, C, D, E to F. Okay, so this is from here to here, one complete oscillations. 
and therefore the time taken from B to E is the period. Okay. Or if you want to start from here, then uh, the complete oscillation will be from D, E, F, G, H. Yeah? Okay. So this is one complete oscillation, and therefore the time taken from D to H is the period. So that's how we find period from a displacement time graph. Eh? Period is the time taken for period is the time taken for one complete oscillation. Okay, so for simple exercise one, question one. Eh? Okay. By referring to the graph above, states four pairs of points at which a system make a complete oscillation. So this question they just want to make sure that you know what does it mean by complete oscillations. Eh? Okay, the first one is from A to B to C, D, E. Okay, from A to E. Yeah? Okay, A to E is a complete oscillations. Okay, so A, E. Yeah? A, E is one complete oscillations. Okay, if we start from B, then B to F. Yeah? Okay, so B, F. From B to F is a complete oscillations. If we start from C, then uh, from C, it go to E. F G okay C G C G is a complete oscillations or if we start from D okay so then D H okay D to H is one complete oscillations eh? okay so they, they just want four pairs eh? so we have four pair one two three four uh, so that is complete oscillations eh? so this question just want to make sure that you know what is complete oscillation okay let's see question two Question two, um, for question two, we have A, B, C, D, yeah? A, B, C, D. Uh, so 2A, find the frequency of the systems of the graph below without using the equations. Okay, just now we learned that you can find the frequency by using F equals to 1 over T, right? Okay, so uh, in this case, we can see that uh, from here, 0 to 1. Okay, so this is one complete oscillation, right? So uh, the time taken for one complete oscillation is the period. So in this case, the period equal to 1, right? So therefore, the frequency F equals to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1 hertz. Okay, 1 hertz. Huh? So you see, we can use the equations huh, to find the frequency. But these questions, they say without using the equations. So how, how to find the frequency without using the equations? Now you see, uh, from this graph, you can see that from here to here is one second, right? And within this one second, uh, there is one complete oscillation, right? Okay, one complete oscillation in one second. Okay, one complete oscillation in one second means that the frequency equals to one hertz. Eh? Because frequency is how many complete oscillations in one second. Okay, so since it makes one complete oscillation in one second, therefore the frequency is one hertz. So that is how we identify frequency, how, how, how we find frequency from this displacement time graph without using uh, the equations, huh? okay, F equals 1 over T. Okay, this one. So what's the frequency? Without using the equation F equals 1 over T, yeah? so what's the frequency? The answer is 2. That's correct. 2 hertz. Huh? How do we know 2 hertz? Okay, see, 0, 1. Okay, so this is 1 second. Huh? And there are one complete oscillation, two complete oscillations. Okay, so two complete oscillation in one second. So two complete oscillation in one second, therefore the frequency equal to two hertz. Eh? Two hertz. So you see, without using the equation F equals to one over T, we can find the frequency. Eh? So just identify there are how many complete oscillation in one second, and that's the frequency. Okay, this is Q2C, okay, not Q2A, Q2C. So Q2C, what's the frequency? 0 0.5, that's correct. Okay, 0 0.5 hertz. Eh? Now why 0 0.5 hertz? 0, 1. So this is, this is 1 second, right? Okay, so you see, it make half complete oscillations, right? From here to here, just half complete oscillations eh? in 1 second. Or it make one complete oscillation in two seconds. Okay, two second, one complete oscillation. Therefore, one second, half complete oscillations. Eh? So if it make half or one over two, eh, 
half complete oscillations in one second, then the frequency equals to half hertz or one over two hertz, eh? okay, or uh, zero point five hertz. So you see, it make half complete oscillations in one second or if you are allowed to use a formula okay f equals to one over t okay t is a period and the period is equal to two seconds right so it takes two seconds to make one complete oscillations eh? so this is equal to one over two uh, which is equal to 0 0.5 hertz okay so this is half complete oscillations in one second next one so this is 2d yeah uh? 2d okay so what's the frequency 2 hertz 1 hertz half hertz 1.5 okay that's correct 1.5 hertz huh? how do we know okay you see this is one second right zero to one huh? it make one complete oscillations and another half here to here is just half complete oscillations huh? so one and a half Okay, one and a half. So it make one and a half. Frequency is one and a half. Uh, complete oscillations in one second. So therefore the frequency is one and a half hertz. Or uh, you can give your answer in 1.5. Uh, 1 1.5 hertz. So in this case, uh, the frequency is equal to 1.5 hertz. Uh, because it make one and a half complete oscillation in one second.